everyone, it's me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. If you're new here, I make videos about my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media, all of the things. So for this video, I'm partnering with Ana Luisa. I want to try to create just like a stylized jewelry like look, you know what I'm saying? Like just to have fun with it, you know? I feel like I haven't really gotten to play on this channel uh, in the last few months. I always gotta shake things up a little bit for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't ever get, I'm an enigma. So if you don't know who Ana Luisa is, they are a online jewelry store that creates these beautifully crafted pieces. I actually own quite a few of their pieces already. Um, shout out to them for sending me a few more, but I already own a lot of Ana Luisa jewelry, so this shoot is very easy for me to do. And what I really love about them is they're also carbon neutral from their packaging to how they create the jewelry itself which I think is really awesome. So if by the end of this video, you like some of the pieces you see, I will link to a little fun little percentage off code in the description box and or floating around me for you to check it out. But let's get into this, all right? One thing I do love about this studio is the owner has given you a lot of different fun areas, backdrops to experiment with, with your photography, with your video, whatever you wanna do. I don't know why, but I really like the texture and I feel like even though I love the pink and blue combo over on that side of the wall, um, I feel like it's a smidge too busy because you know, remember this is supposed to be a jewelry ad. It's supposed to be focusing on the pieces and not necessarily the background or the person in them even, like it's actually not really about me. With this setup, I think I'm gonna go like boss business lady, but like still in tune with mother earth. That's the vibe I'm trying to give for this. I may or may not be reusing props and wardrobe from this could have been an email. For those of y'all who don't know, this could have been an email is the web series that I have on my channel. I had to buy all of the HR director's wardrobe and I couldn't take it back, so. A few notes about what I'm, how I'm going to shoot this. So I am gonna create like a look for video and then also a photo look as well. And so for the video side of this, I'm definitely gonna to try to shoot 60 FPS frames per second. So that way I can slow it down just a little bit in post and give, you know, again, ethereal vibes, giving you sl slight slow-mo, but not so slow that you're bored. So for the photo side of this, definitely gonna shoot raw, sure. But instead of having, um, my aperture open like all the way, like 2.8 or something ridiculous, I'll probably actually have an aperture that's pretty closed off. So I'll need quite a bit of light because I don't want, what I don't want to happen is since I'm filming by myself, the camera is gonna want to focus in on me and my eye. That's actually one of the really neat things about Sony is its autofocus features are amazeballs. Gonna do that so that way um, it doesn't matter if the camera decides to focus on my eye, most of everything in the field of plane of me should be in focus. So that way I can enhance, zoom and enhance in the photos if I want to. So right now I'm moving the couch forward so that way we can get a little bit more depth from the background and have it be a little softer focus. Since like I said, I'm gonna have my um, aperture maybe at like four or five, I wanna try to get the couch forward so that way there's just a little bit of softness happening in the background. I'm actually also debating if I even want this couch altogether. I just saw a chair off to the side that I actually really like, so. I think I like that. Oh man, this would be actually like a super cute YouTube video background. <laughs> It'd be nice to have my own studio space one of these days. So I don't have to keep renting, you know? Oh my gosh, running out of time. <laughs> but I think, I think I definitely got enough to work with, but I do need to maybe reschedule and come back to get the other stuff I wanna get. So I'm back day two of messing around and filming. Um, I want to get right into it this time, and I wanna try to do some interesting just hand 
I did end up investing in a Pro Mist filter. I know everyone has Pro Mist filters on now. Like that's just a thing that everybody's doing. But I think it'll work for this. I actually think it'll be really good for this because it'll just soften everything that much more. Just give that high glam look, you know, that like soft glam glossy look. So I'm gonna play around with it and just see if it adds anything. All right, so I was just doing, I'm super backlit, but that's fine. I was just doing some test ideas just to see what it would look like for placement. The first one I'm gonna do is the ring, and then I'm gonna start messing around with placing the jewelry, like just sort of hanging in the frame and just to see what that does. Ooh, ooh. think I got it. I actually really like this ring. It's their Chloe ring. It's really pretty. I actually wanted this ring because I thought it would make a really nice um, wedding band ring. This is their Lucy chain that they sent. And y'all have probably been seeing this, this chain in my videos for the last couple weeks actually, um, before this official video, but I love this chain. It's just like really bold. Ooh. Y'all, this is the shot right here. Y'all see that? All right, I think we definitely got our still shots. Let's move to our video portion now. All right, so I officially got all of our slow-mo shots with our beautiful, beautiful necklaces, as you can see, and then also our ring as well. So now that I've gotten that, I need to pack up anyway because I gotta be out here in nowish. And let's go ahead and hop onto my computer now and let's start color correcting, color grading, and editing this piece. I am so excited to just bring stuff back because it looks really good in camera. Let's see how good it does or does not look on my computer. Hello and welcome to my very messy office. Sorry in advance. And also Mr. Hollies is here too. As y'all saw at the beginning of the video, I included this fun opener that I had created. And I'm gonna show you a few easy things you can do in Premiere to color correct for, I feel, my skin tone, which I think I think this can be translated to skin tones in general. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna leave one in the color correction and color grading that we've already, that I've already established for this. And then we're gonna make the other one be nothing and show you how I got there. So here it is, and we're gonna boop, delete it. So first off, this is where we started. That's our original picture, that's our original image. And something that I have started to use a lot in Premiere and actually really enjoy is their new auto color feature, which is right here at the top. Um, if you have the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro, it's up here at the top. You remember this auto thing used to actually be below it like in this area, now it's up there. So I'm gonna just hit auto and show you what it does. And you see what it just did. It just took a best guess of figuring out how to color balance everything. Now again, let's turn this off so you can see what it looked like before. So from there to here, that's where we're at. That's where we're starting off so far, okay? I don't hate that actually. I actually think it's really good. I'm just gonna tweak a couple of things. But one thing you can do with this auto feature that's also really cool is you can just intensify it and see what it does. So you can take it away and add it. And as you see, as I do that, you see how the image actually changes and you also see what it's doing to adjust your image. So this can also be really cool if you don't really know a lot about color correction and color grading, but you just wanna try you know, and just see what happens. I really enjoy the new auto color feature because of that. But I think this is good. I don't hate this. I do wanna up the exposure just a smidge. And so I'm gonna look at my lumetroscopes when I do this. So you can see the bars of color are represented right there in my scopes. And then this, all of this, and you can see red is the prominent color, which makes sense because of my blazer, that's fine. But so since I am probably represented right around here, so I in here am right around there. So I want to bump the exposure up just a little bit. Yes. And from now, let's see what the original was. 
okay, like, we're still not that far off. And you see, I've done this like incredibly quickly. So my secret sauce when color correcting my skin, and I think a lot of y'all have started to notice this in other videos. One, I've upped my lighting game for sure, like definitely work on lighting. But also in post, here is what I do to make the melanin be melanin. You know what I'm saying? Here's what I do. All right, so I keep my auto features the way I want. Maybe I make a couple tweaks, who knows, cool. Then I come down to my curves. And I, f I know like if you're new to filmmaking and color correction in general, curves are scary, I get that. But I only focus on two aspects of the curves, hue versus saturation and hue versus luma. You can do so much with these so simply. So, okay, hue versus saturation. So this is like taking whatever color you reference and then saturating it. So making it more like Vibrance not the right word because vibrancy is its own thing, but to help you understand, vibrancy, okay? So click, and I'm gonna click right around here. And so it shows me where those colors are represented in this hue. And then I'm gonna add a couple more dots, and I'm just gonna bump me up a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And it's subtle, it's so subtle. But I think it really adds a lot. There is a bit, if you look really closely, there's a bit more of a vibrancy all over, like a saturation on my face and my skin overall. The next thing I do though, is I go down to my Hue versus Luma. And this is how the light is reflected on the skin or on any object or any color for that matter. And so what I usually do is I go to the Hue versus Luma and I click right where I can see how the light is just hitting my face just strongly, you know? So I hit that and then I just dip it down a little bit. I just calm it down. Do you see how that just happened? Like it just boop. And I love this. I love doing this for a few reasons. I'm still learning how to light myself well, um, and I feel like I'm learning how to just not have too much harshness or too much this or that. And I feel like just by dropping the luma, dropping the representation, representation of light in my image on a certain hue balances my face is, my, balances the way my face is lit overall and evens it out. And it, to me, it replicates when I'm in the sun. I feel like melanin looks best when it's in full sun because we, like our melanin just like absorbs the light um, and it doesn't reflect it in like a weird way. I don't know. I feel like studio lights on melanin just, just it hits different. And so I find that in post, I'm always trying to mimic the type of lighting I love, which is sun. And so those two things is what I do when I am color, cor I would still consider this color correcting, not color grading myself. So here they are off. Okay, so there they are off, the two things I did, which again, you see here, first is there, this is where we ended up originally. It's not bad, and then boom, witchcraft. Anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that that's what I do. Again, a big thank you to Ana Luisa for sending me these lovely, lovely pieces of jewelry. Thank you so much. If y'all are interested in purchasing any of Ana Luisa's jewelry, not just these pieces, check out the link in my description box and let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this type of video, you would like to see some more stuff like this, let me know because I had a lot of fun making this actually, so. Big shout out to my Patreon producers, patreon.com slash There you get early access to these videos as well as private weekly vlogs from me. It's a good time. I also now have YouTube Join available on this channel as well. Check that out if you're interested. I'll see you when I see you.